Hello, Amp Bonds program. I'm back with another clinical apprenticeship. It's been a minute. We had a couple weeks off with exams, and then I just I was rushed from clinic to class one day, so I didn't get it in. So I'll give you a twofer. I'll give you a case from last clinic day, and then also today's clinic. So from last clinic's day, it was two weeks ago, I believe. It was a guy who just come. He was coming in for a physical. He's a relatively healthy guy, and what took precedence precedence in the visit was a week prior. He was just working doing some like housework and he has a trailer and he was trying to use a bungee cord to like secure something down in his trailer and he was pulling it down and the bungee cord snapped and his hand like came down and hit the bottom of his trailer and obviously it hurt and stuff but he didn't he didn't go in to get seen or anything for most of that week uh he had very limited range of motion um mostly on the outside of his hand was where like a lot of the swelling was so right about here and then so the whole, I'd say probably from the middle of his hand, so about from the third digit out to the pinky, it was pretty swollen. And then these three digits were all um, pretty discolored, especially like closer to the proximal knuckles. Um, there, were, there was a little like banana-ish yellow in there. There's some blue and purple mixed in. And But he was moving it okay. He was able to make like a soft fist kind of. Um, he wasn't able to oppose his thumb to his pinky partially because of pain and partially just because of a lot of swelling. But he still had like decent range of motion with the pinky and all the other fingers, they were okay. He just, again, couldn't make like a tight fist. There wasn't any like laceration or anything. As far as tenderness goes, there was a little bit of point tenderness right about here, like mid joint. But even then, like I was pushing decently hard on it and he wasn't reacting very much. So it was kind of interesting because obviously the, the visual signs um, were pretty like drastic, especially one week out but he wasn't complaining of it too much. It sounded like he wasn't even really planning on coming in um, to get it looked at, just he just happened to have a physical. But we were concerned enough about it that we got an x-ray on it, and it turned out that he had a boxer fracture, which I think is a layman's term for the fifth metacarpal fracture. And so I'll put a picture of it somewhere up here. There's so many pictures of it online, but it's a cool fracture and I've seen it, I've seen it before. I've had a couple of friends have that a similar fracture. That was super interesting for me to see because you don't see um, fractures like that every day. They typically present to like the emergency department, but this guy must've just been a little extra tough, I guess. And then, so the case today was a 30 year old female who had a history of chronic migraines. And so I believe what that constitutes is um, at least 15 days over a month's period of like migraine headaches. In January, she had Botox injections. It's uncommon that um, family med docs do this, but uh, he learned, he worked with a neurologist when he was in the military. And so he learned this skill. Um, and I think it's a nice skill to have. So basically the Botox injections, which we did again today, that's the reason for this case. The Botox injections are a good way to kind of stave off chronic migraines. It's not a quick fix. We also gave a shot of Toradol, just an uh, intramuscular shot of Toradol, which is Ketorolac, which is just an anti-inflammatory. That helps with more like immediate pain relief. The Botox injections help to kind of relax a lot of the um, nerves and the muscles in the face that end up causing a lot of the migraine symptoms, also in the neck too. So we did some more Botox injections and what that constitutes is 31 little mini injections of Botox throughout the head and the neck and down into the kind of shoulder area. And so I, I believe it was kind of four up top in the forehead. There was three, one right here, one right here, one right here. Um, I believe there was four in the side, kind of like temple area, four on the other side. There was four right in the center, four right in the center, three, three on each side of the back and then there was three kind of down here on each side. And I, you guys will have to add that up. I'll, I'll add it up maybe on screen. We'll see if I got to 31, but it's 31 for sure shots. And so um, they're just, it's a really small needle. It's usually tolerated pretty well, he said, um, but it was cool just to kind of see, I mean, you're really just going kind of straight in here. Uh, she said that last time it last, the, the relief, she didn't have another migraine really, or a serious migraine for like eight or 10 weeks. So it can really make a huge difference in a lot of people's lives. And I, I think it's a valuable valuable skill to have, especially as a family doc. That just about does it. I kept it shorter than I thought. I'm probably forgetting stuff, I guess, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. Um, as always, I learned something, especially with the boxer fracture and then also with the Botox injections. It was just cool to see both of those.
i will see you guys on the platform.